Hey guys, Dean here. So CS2 has mixed reviews. If you go on the Steam store page for it, you can see recent reviews are mixed. This is because it's kind of been received a little bit differently from certain groups of people. Some people like CS2 and love it, whereas some people just don't. And there's those people in between who just kind of miss some of the old features that CSGO had that they just haven't brought yet to CS2. For an example, CSGO's workshop where you could play custom maps. CSGO's private lobbies where we could just invite a friend to play in some quick 1v1s for a bit of fun. We can't really do many of these things right now in Counter-Strike 2. And because of that, today I'm going to show you how you can still play CSGO right now in 2023, even after Counter-Strike 2 has been released, because Valve have actually made it extremely easy to re-download CSGO and play that instead. Now, I'm not sure how the matchmaking experience is on CSGO. The server should still be up. I don't know if there's loads of people playing it or if people are just using it for custom maps, but let me show you how. Let's say you go to your Steam library and we went to the workshop page and you'd see all of these custom maps like these hide and seek maps these cool a maps and 1v1 maps and you think oh wait we can't play these in cs2 rest assured we can play them on csgo so go to your steam library and you want to locate where your counter strike 2 game is just right click on it and go ahead and click properties now when the properties box comes up it's actually really simple i'm going to make this tutorial straight to the point so make sure you like this video and subscribe if it was valuable because i don't want to waste your time basically from here you just click on betas where it says beta part participation it says select the beta you would like to opt into just click the drop down box here and we can join a few different versions so we have all these test versions we have the demo viewer and then we have a new option called csgo legacy this is the legacy version of csgo this is csgo before it changed into cs2 click on csgo legacy and from there you would see update queued and it would say download started and then you can monitor your download progress by clicking on the downloads button in the bottom and you see there's now an update queued for counter strike Two. This will change the game into CSGO. So when you launch it, it will boot up that CSGO menu that you're so used to, and you can play the workshop mode maps again. And you can invite your friends to 1v1. So if you want to play CSGO instead of CS2, this is how you do it. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, if anything doesn't work, comment them below, and I'll help you out with it. See you real soon.